Good afternoon, friends. Steve Benoon here with Israeli News Live, and I really wanted to share some information with you guys. Um, our good friend uh, with uh, with FEMA sent me uh, information on the executive order that Biden had signed, uh, it, an executive order that is targeting the harmful foreign activities of the Russian government. This is right off of the WhiteHouse.gov's website. That's the title, Executive Order Targeting the Harmful Foreign Activities of the Russian Government. Now, as I mentioned to you guys yesterday, the Russian government has considered this an act of war. Is exactly what they're considering it to be. Uh, and Or a declaration of war, either way you want to look at it there. So, I reached out to some of my own uh, contacts there to find out if uh, if we can find out more information on this. And I did get a response back on that. And I was hearing that certain U.S. officials and the media had been pushing Russia Russia's resolve very hard recently, starting with the misinformation campaign uh, uh, of Trump's original election. And Biden is certainly adding provocation. And honestly, I don't know how much more Russia is going to take. So Putin is the only reason uh, that, uh, the only reason that there has not already been a war started, uh, as he was uh, sharing with me. He says, um, at this point, Russia is so very annoyed and tired of the constant games and threats and hardships that now nearly everything uh, makes them feel like we are declaring war. Uh, so at any rate there, I uh, he was not aware at the moment, so I sent him the executive order that I was referring to, and uh, he definitely got back with me, and he said that that could easily be construed by the Russian government as a declaration of war. So that's where we are. We are at a situation, thanks to the Biden administration, of pushing Russia to the edge of nearly declaring war. And at this point, Putin is the only one, the only one that actually stands in the way, or in the gap, you might say, to prevent Russia from already launching an attack on the United States, whether it be directly, indirectly, our assets overseas, etc. And the uh, contact I have, the FEMA engineer that uh, also has other uh, military contacts has clearly stated to me that they're anticipating an attack on the mainland United States by Russia starting in uh, or, or as early as June. And while I'm speaking to you right now, Israel has also got rocket alerts that are going off. I can see them popping up on my phone. Uh, rocket alerts happening there in Israel. Uh, probably the people over in Gaza or, or, or the uh, the West Bank, one of them, more than likely Gaza. Uh, you know, I guess if we were under occupation the way they are, I suppose we would probably react some of the ways they react as well. It's amazing how nobody ever thinks about that when it comes to the Palestinians. You know, put, put for example, Florida underneath occupation by a foreign power and suppress you for for the last 70 years, and how do you think Floridians would, would respond? We don't really think about those things, though, do we? Anyway, Stephen Benoon, listen, uh, pray for us. We're traveling, and uh, so uh, we'll be getting, like I said, back in the saddle there and getting some updates for you on some other issues as well. And again, Nimrod, I'm coming back to that issue on Nimrod. Uh, if you happen to be still looking at that EMP shield, is the uh, don't forget the code is I N L like Israeli News Live 50. Don't want to push that issue right now. Just just as a reminder in case you guys have that on your mind. God bless you. Thank you. I'm Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live and of course EMPShield.com. I forget to tell you the name of the website, so I apologize for that too. EMPShield.com. God bless.